What's up everyone, it is Brandon Stav here with another video and once again, thank you guys for watching all my videos. Make sure you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel. Check out my store. I have a lot of dope files on there that will definitely help you become a better designer. And in this video, I'm actually gonna show you how to do that vintage timestamp. I know you guys, if you guys were born in the 90s or before, you guys knew that a lot of people used to use disposable cameras. You know those cameras used to have that timestamp, the date for your photos that you can never take off mind knowing I know you I, I know all my pictures have them so I actually I actually gonna I'm actually gonna start basically with one of my photos that I've already made it was for an Instagram story um and from here I'm basically going to add the timestamp on the photo right here on the side and let's go so first things first you want to put the date I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it look really vintage. I'm gonna put my birthday. So once you have the date, you have to make sure you have this font. I'll definitely leave the font in um, the description. But the font is called, uh, I forgot. I think I'm, it's funny, I, for, I actually forgot. It's not VCR. So once you have the outer glow, um, and it looks good, let's, let's select the inner glow. Anything lower than 10 is going to be too light. Um, so I think 17, even 15 is pretty good. 15 is pretty good. And for me, that's a little bit too big. So I'm going to resize mine. But again, you guys can put it any size you want. It used to be like small in the corner. Mine is going to be right there. And that's how you do it. That's how you add timestamp to the photos. So now I added it to that photo. I'm actually gonna upload. I'm gonna try it again on a different photo. So I have this photo here and I'm gonna repeat the same steps. So this time I want the actual date. So February 9th. the date I have to change the color it was EA 6900 so once you have the color changed again we're actually going to put that inner glow same thing it was EA 6900 we gotta add an outer glow as well Again, it's going to be already at EA 6900. The settings are going to be already the same as we did before. And then once you do that, just put the opacity down. And for me, the size has to be down a little bit more too. And honestly, the colors always change. Um, it depends on what you want. Me, that's not dark enough and then I want to I want to spread it out so the, the settings are always going to change depending on the photo because if you think about it it actually looks good here but now that I'm on this new image it kind of looks too light so guys have to mess with the settings a little bit and so 
swap it out. But again, that's how you make the timestamp on your photo. I want to see you guys use this setting. Tag me. My Instagram account is at be the visionary. You guys can find me on there. Follow me. And you guys can also find my personal page, Brandon Sav, on IG as well. Follow me. Send me messages. Here we go. Let's go.